Howdy, I'm Jim. This is my garage. Welcome to Beer Dads. Okay, what are we drinking? This is a Bud Light in Clemento with salt and lime. Uh, I got this earlier today at Winco. So right away, before I even try this, I want you to know that this has one extra ounce. This is not, you, well, didn't, it, you didn't have to pay for that. This no, is, and you had me at 20. It did take a push to buy it. By the way, it also has natural flavor and certified color. Yeah, the color is certified. Wait, so, so this is not tomato color. This is a certified No, it's flavor. certified color. So this Wait. is a, <laughs> you know the other type of color, like the it's not, certified. No, I mean this is real. This is the real deal. This Co is so colorblind real. people can see this. I'm gonna drink this now. Although I want you to know that just putting it to my lips, I get a gag reflex from it. So yeah, it does smell kind of like a waterless toilet. Like a sh like an abomination. It kind of makes me want to go golfing. I can drink this golfing. What? It's, I mean, compared to just Bud Light, this isn't bad. Oh God, that's horrible. And it's just, that's just. Fuck, man. I mean, I'm not gonna give it any pretzels, but... Uh, <laughs> maybe can I take pretzels away? <laughs> no. Oh, gosh. If you just think of it as just tomato juice. <laughs> I hate tomato I can't juice. Tell. Oh, that's a problem. It's like carbonated watered down tomato juice. The, I can taste a mm. hint of certified lime, and that's okay. I can't taste anything but sadness and depression. No, I mean... Why does it certify anything? I don't mean the salt, but like, why... Certified, well, the color. Because otherwise, how are you, I mean, how are you supposed to know whether you're going to get an authentic Colorado really mean experience? Anything? No. Can you just put that like in front of the name? Who's certified? What? Certified cheddar. Certified Is there sun a chips. Certified yeah, sun chips. Wood. <laughs> so yeah, certified wood. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Certify it. Yeah, what? I, but I'm, I'm, I want to know if in the marketing they're like sitting in a room and they're like, we're gonna sell more of this if it says certified versus not certified. Like, there's everybody makes decisions on what's on the fucking label. So yeah. why did they choose to call it certified? You're onto something. I used to be a notary. I could make notarized cider. You still a notary? Like right now? Probably so. I don't, it, it, it takes forever to expire. So chances are, can you still just do you have a seal? Anything? Yeah. Are you? Will you notarize, notarize anything I bring you? What, yes. was the, what was the value of a notary? Can I just, can you notify it or notarize I can notarize it? anything. Does it give it more that like That doesn't sound right, but I don't know if, enough about All it is is it's just saying that the person who's signing their name is oh. who they say they are. I kind of felt like it had more grandeur. No, it's so you like write nothing. it down yeah. a book and shit. You have a log and... I mean, but you could notarize that these are truly Hawaiian barbecue mm -hmm. chips. But I could notarize that you bought them. I think that's, that's about that's it. Really like, so can I purport anything you can notarize it as you would I mean, do the fact say it? You can borrow my stamp and you can put it on anything. Can you notarize a How person? About that? Yeah, why not? Why not? Do you have the book on you now? I do not. <laughs> I, like, I don't bring the seal with me everywhere. You have to carry it with you like your like, driver's box. license. <laughs> like, you know, the, it's like the atomic football, but just it's a book. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, cry um, together. It's it's actually I, I I take this back. It's the perfect combination. From of what? Uh, Clearly Light, not Bud Light. Bud Light, Clamato, salt and lime. I'm sorry. So Clamato is a separate thing. I think I think Clamato. Look, there's two more. Like, uh, it's like that's something you know, to your water. Clamato. Clamato is the second ingredient. So okay, I just want to want to get back here to this. This so, is an Clamato actual. Clamato is an actual thing <laughs> that you, people buy, and then so Bud Light's like, fuck oh, yeah, let's put some yes. beer in that Clamato. Exactly. So here's the thing: if you wanted just Clamato, like if you wanted to wake up in the morning and just have a big old glass of tomato clams, you could do that. I didn't. And you wouldn't even have, I mean, you can make this by just mixing, like, it's convenient that it's in the same can, I, but. I just can't believe that this is a thing that exists. And so I take a big gulp of it. The problem is that the color it looks like it could be a real beer. Like it, this looks like it could be like a decent, like. Like a ruby? Yeah, exactly. Or like, or like a, what is it, when you make fruit thingies? Sangria? No, like uh, ciders. It kind of looks like it could be. It does. One of them fruit things. <laughs> I'm very, I'm articulate when I drink Clamato and Bud Light. Okay, well let's get this over with. Right, God. So I'm already more excited about this because it's not Clamato. 
You can't you can't get yeah. any worse, right? I take glacier. I drank a twelve pack of that this this summer. At one time, of the day blazer. But at one time, Clamato. That's my first time with Clamato. Yeah. Yes. I don't believe first, you. You only had Clamato once? Yeah, it lasts a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you can't bring yourself to drink it. Um, so this is New Belgian day blazer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's easy going. going. Yeah. The theme of tonight is light to dark. So we're going to start out with the lighter things, work our way to darkness. <laughs> Clamato? Light? Yeah, Bud Light. Oh, oh. I mean, Bud I mean you squeezed it in there. I mean, but the, color, the certified color really threw me off. I didn't know. Wasn't. I had no idea what Clamato was. For all I knew, it was like, you know, clear. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have known that clams and tomatoes would have a color? <laughs> a pinkish color, no less. Okay, anyway. Cheers. Bottoms up. Oh, that's a step up. Oh, thank God. Mm. Surprised we didn't put something else in here today. Surprise! No, no, no. Um. <laughs> I mean, not my favorite, but also I don't feel like I'm gonna die. This is kind of lightish, like, dare yeah. I say, what Bud Light would taste like if you didn't mix it with clams and tomatoes. Yeah, it's it's yeah. better than Bud Light, don't get me wrong. I'm sorry, it is. Just, uh, for comparing it. Yeah. Um. See, I think it's pretty good, but I'm worried that I'm just comparing it. But um, it is good. It's, it's not bad at all. Um, I mean, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Like, I mean, the it's only information that I have to go on is that it's an easygoing ale. You know that it's easygoing. What it's, else do you mean? I, I mean, I feel... It's not easy. I feel at ease. There's no hard-going ale, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's uh, number 10. However, it is very unremarkable. It's so like a, a summer day <clears throat> on, a, on a boat, on a raft. Yeah. I mean, I, and, and just because I did spend some time with this this summer, I'm gonna give it one pretzel. So, oh, this is like the nostalgia pretzel. Just a little bit of, you don't, yeah. I mean, you can vote how you want. Well, and you haven't explained the voting yet to us. But you need to explain. Explain. How many do we have? You have 22 pretzels. 22! There, so there are two per 11 per beers. Per Same thing, I a, a, a veritable per. bomber of pretzels. Yeah, a, a bomber of pretzels. Don't blow your pretzels all in the first few beers because you might want to save at the end. Then at the end, you can come back and redistribute them if it turns out that there's you know, nothing you like. Which means we have to keep track of what we put in each one? I don't know. Well, I mean, we'll just count at the end. Well, you're not allowed to take them out once you put them in. Oh, you're not. Everyone oh, has oh, exactly oh, okay. 20 you have, As soon I as that you. pretzel enters the cup, you've committed. I got you. He's committed. So we're committed. One pretzel on the day blazer. I, um, I don't I'm not going to commit. This is I'm unremarkable. Commit. I mean, I have 22 pretzels. That feels like a lot. Two pretzels, one cup. Yeah. All right, that's a good start. That's a good start. One of my favorite videos. <laughs> I watched it today. I would drink apparently 12 of these, like uh -huh. you did, uh, more than I would drink probably most of the others, 12 of them. Right? And I will yeah. say that for this style of beer, that is the correct size for it. Like, if I was gonna drink this, mm. that's that's the minimum amount that I'd want. So is that 20 ounce? Is it? It's not a 25, because mm. I don't see an extra ounce on no. there. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give it two. Wow. Nice. One pint, eight fluid ounces. What is one pint, eight fluid ounces in total ounces? 22. 22! 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see how this dry hop cider tastes uh, from Yakima Valley. Mm, it smells good. Where is your Yakima Valley? It's in Washington, Washington State. This is from the Teat on Cider Works. Uh, what? The Teton. Yep. And that's true. It is spelled Titon. You sure it's not Titon? No, it's T. Is it T E T O N? It's definitely T. It's yeah, T I E. Yeah, Teat on I before E except after C. Teton. Yeah, but Teton that's for spelling, T -T. not pronunciation. Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean like the Teton Mountains or T. -T I mean if it were German, it, I before E does mean T. Yeah, it's a cider. Right. Whatever. I mean, sure, I, I don't really understand that thought process, but I'm sure it's right. Dear Titan Cider Works, tell us how to say your beer. <laughs> so, I mean, help us. Help us. But when it's a dry hop cider, that means it's still like used, it starts with apples. Ask, this ask starts the, with apples. That's the pro. Yeah, yeah. So they make cider from apple juice. And then at some point, I don't know what, exactly when in the process, but hops are added like you would do with beer. Okay. And so it gives it a, it gives it sort of a bitter flavor and hoppiness and I have to say, I 
kind of like it. it it's like well, a crystal crystal glass, so. Mm, yeah. That's a good thumb because actually, yeah. I will drink it. And uh, doing yeah, that early I like that quite a bit. Right? Mm. Yeah, it's good. I mean, I, I like hop ciders in general. Or it could be getting drunk because even this cheese tastes good right now. So. <laughs> well, but that cheese came in a wood box. I mean, this is the finest of cheese. It is. This is a. You could take it home. Yeah, I I know that I asked for that, but I I'm really having some second thoughts about bringing home an empty cheese box. Maybe we'll leave you a little cheese to go. I, I mean, I could is only. Is another name for an empty cheese box? What would that cheese. name be? I don't know. The fact I, I really like that it's dry humped. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's, I really <laughs> appreciate a dry hump cider. <laughs> That's. I mean, have just, you ever dry humped any of the cider that you make? Oh, all of it. I mean, it, why would I can't wait to taste the dry hump cider. <laughs> it's all dry hump, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's well. I just you got to try the wet hump. <laughs> I think they both. I think they both impart a really mature flavor. Um, Mid thirties flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd recommend it. So here's the thing: like, beer's not that hard to make, but cider is very easy, right? Because you easier just, than beer. Because oh yeah, yeah, you just leave it. Yeah. Well, you put like shit or fart pills in and all that kind of stuff, right? Not yeah. anymore. No, that, that experiment did not work out really that well. I mean, because I had a closet that just smelled like farts for about a year. And so I didn't really like the How's that different from cider. your mom? <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's, like, it's like your college dorm, right? That's it. <laughs> yeah, now I buy pasteurized juice and I dump yeast in. And so that's, that's the whole process. Well, you weren't buying pasteurized juice before? No, I juiced the apples the first time. Oh, you fucking like did the whole yeah. thing. You yeah, I it sucked. Man. Yeah. It was, and it was Multiple a wet hump. Times. The, the first time was a wet hump because you had to take those apples and, and get them all <laughs> that wet sounds and mushy. Like a fucking mess. You it gotta, was. You, you got to get your hips into it. Hello, ich bin Berliner Weiß. So beer number you guys four. Know what that means? Beer number four. It means beer number four. Beer four. number four. 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 Uh, that's five. No, that's fear. Fear, fear is fear. Four. I fear no more fear. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, that, that does sound better. Yeah, yeah. good. So I only understand oh. German when it is shouted at me. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm kind of a history buff. Oh uh, well, I, there's been a lot of shouting in German history. So, do you know what Berliner is? No, it's Berlin? like a famous story of Tell JFK. Us. He stood up in front of everyone. This is in Berlin, and he said, "Oh, I do. Yep. Ich bin ein Berliner. I am a Berliner, a person from Berlin. But Berliner actually means a jelly donut. So he just stood I in front of everyone and said, I'm a jelly donut. So, and well, I've also heard that Berliner is actually someone from Berlin, too. So I've heard it's kind of like overdone the story, but I, I hope. Like it. No, I just want you to know that you have made me think that this fucking beer tastes like a jelly donut. I'm super disappointed now if it doesn't taste like a jelly donut. That's why I'm wondering be, right? if it's It would be right? badass if that was like the case. Well, jelly donut white, uh, white. But also, what is the the thing on the can? Because it's like... Those are circles. Those are onions? <laughs> those are the onions. Asparagus? <laughs> My sis asparagus! I think she has like sausages as her hair. It, well, it's from Germany. Right, no, exactly. Uh, so, so all, all Freulein have sausages for hair? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I've even never been. I, I do go for work Germany, sometimes, no. and it, it actually, yeah, most people do have sausages for hair. I've heard of sausage <clears> fingers. <throat> Where do you think they get all the good sausages? Schweinefleisch. Also, oh. I just want to point out, a bit of an unexpected color here. Yeah, but I, that's what happens when you don't have certified color. Oh, hey, I get what you're saying. Yeah, right. you get, oh. I mean, yeah, you see it? Yeah, no one certified this. It's we, we have no idea what we're getting, right? Yeah, mm. it's not what I expected. God either. damn it, it tastes like disappointment. It's in seltzer water, yeah, it Just, does. There's <laughs> almost nothing there. I don't yeah. taste the purple at all. I don't taste the alcohol or the I think purple. all I taste is purple. Is this I don't really alcohol? taste a lot of beer. Is this what purple tastes like? Just the color purple. Well, it's like it's like purple right. light, guys. Guess percentage of alcohol. Two. <laughs> is it negative? Does it take is alcohol it out of our bodies? I'm sobering up drinking this. <laughs> it's time to go home. I'm already Please home. tell me it's zero. <sighs> no, I mean it's not horrible. Jesus. Three point seven. Oh yeah. Maybe I maybe I did know didn't know it was blue. again, but it's but it's blue. It's two percent blueberries. Yeah. These these 
It's, it must be the it's the, the lights. It's uh, the lighting in, in here. That's before, and then it says sea bottom. Oh fuck! That Bastard. could be old. Maybe that's where all no, the no, yeah. went. Okay, so we're saying blueberries. I mean, and the can is solid. Well, okay, navy. still better than the clamato. Yeah, like it has such absolute bar. <clears throat> well, yeah, but it but I it mean, still needs to be set. I mean, it's still the second. Okay, great. Second worst beer than I. I don't know. I mean, yeah, just because it's the second taste best beer than I. Bad. It's not <laughs> so far. <laughs> it doesn't taste bad. Um, well, it's it like, a very light beer. It doesn't taste. It's like I didn't know I was drinking Lacroix, basically. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. I mean, uh, is it Lacroix? Lacroix, I think is what it is. What that is. Oh, oh, if we only had French Canadians here. Lacroix, Lacroix, Lacroix. I think that's what it is. If there are any French Canadians that happen to watch us, let us know how this is said. <laughs> um, but no, I do think it's Lacroix. Is I, I think that's the right pronunciation. I don't think you say le. It's just, oh, and it's like an inward oh, suction. You're, you're right. right. I, I misheard it, but the X is just, oh. <laughs> oh, just the X. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, X has a Z sound. That is how English works. Like yeah. xylophone. Xylophone yeah. starts with Z, right? Well, think about Z. Z what about Z? I, I have nothing. I'm, I'm being silent because I don't have anything to say in return to this. So, have you never been to the doctor and had a, a Z ray? <laughs> But it said X like that. Uh, no, but like words with X's. I n I know. Okay. That's. I mean, the bottom line is I'm I'm, I'm disappointed because the can. Everything, it's a fun. It's, it's a, a fun little seven. Can. It's a yeah. fun little can. But um, just, um, yeah. that's all it is. Is a fun little can. Mm. Uh, so this is a near and dear to my heart beer, the Franziskana Vice. Vice beer. Vice beer. This one is actually not purple, so uh, <laughs> that's good. So we, it's got that going for us. Let's it. give it a try. Beer this number five. Yeah. This will be a nice one to try. Um, don't really know what to expect. <laughs> Never had this before ever. I gotta say though, this is not fair because this is one of my favorite. Yeah, fuck German yeah. beers. So yeah, I mean, yeah. might as well just go. Kunk. I love this beer. I mean, to drop all of your toys. But I think it's good to have some, like a strong tender in with the unknowns, with the randos. Yeah. No, I really like it a lot. I wish it was fresh. The real stuff that wasn't pasteurized. Yeah. yeah. Beggars can't be choosers in America. No, this is a German beer that can occupy my mouth anytime. This is Falling Sky by Falling Sky Brewing. Mm. Juniper Rye. It's a falling, a falling it, sky style. All of that rhymes. A falling sky style. Falling sky, falling sky, juniper rye. Mm. I've actually been to their brewery. Yeah. It's in Eugene. It's and, oh yeah? yeah? Imagine orange groves blossoming in the middle of a juniper forest, leading into warm, fresh baked rye bread flavor and a refreshingly crisp finish. Perfect oh. companion while watching the sky fall. Well, I feel oh. like there's a lot to take in there and wow. I'm, Think about a sky falling and think of like take a tree or war. I don't, mm. I, don't, I don't think it positive things. It oh, this could be good too. Uh, according to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcohol with beverages during the pregnancy. I think they all have that. that. <laughs> Even the Clamato was not. Consumption of alcohol beverages. I mean, that's not a, a, a drink for pregnant women. I think, or operate machinery. I think the Berliner Vice was like, yeah, go ahead. It's fine. It, you know, no one. Well, gentlemen. Hmm. Okay, so we're, so we've got a juniper rye. And it is an ale. Yeah. What is it? Really? This. Mm. Tastes mm -hmm. like a rye. Tastes like a rye. Well put. Well, I mean, I don't like juniper. And juniper rye is. Juniper is little berries on like fucking pine trees, right? Not yeah. pine trees, but like. There's a mean, tree, right? Yeah. It's pine nuggets, is another Pine term. Like pine gin. nuggets, yeah. Hmm? Gin? Juniper? Gin, juniper, gin. Juniper is goes into gin. Yep. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't get a big pour. But I don't like that. Mm. I'm not also not crazy about rye. Yep, I like. It. Yeah, yeah. Okay, beer number seven. So what is it? Stormbreaker Brewing, Cloud Ripper IPA. Remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> to what? To the beer or to us? To us? All right. Just whatever you feel like. Just like and subscribe to everything. Anyway, this guy's got a sickle. 
So, so, cl so that's a cloud ripper. It makes me think crop dusting. Stronger. The yeah. crop duster ale. Like, like the crop the cloud ripper. Like uh, ripping cloud. You why know? don't you rip it? <laughs> okay. So, so first of all, like not a scythe. So I'm just gonna stop. Yeah, that's really? like, sure. a, like a like a pickaxe. Like a pickaxe. Yeah. I don't, have you played the Minecraft? The mine. Uh, I have played okay. way too much yeah. of the mine. No. Yeah, I see it up on top. Actually, of it's, it definitely has like more Fortnite vibe going on, but it it's definitely a pickaxe. Okay. Yeah. I don't think. Jim I'm not gonna. Fortnite. I'm not gonna. Uh, what? Do you know what Fortnite is? It's a game, right? It is. There's a pickaxe in it. However, is, is, is that what you yeah, use like to rip clouds? Um, or whatever you want. Yeah. The whole motif is like storms and clouds and angry guys swinging pickaxes. Do you think Ooh. all of their drinks are like angry cloud themed weather? Yeah, weather they have a few of them there. Hey, uh, well, so they just follow the same like pattern of word, storm breaker, cloud ripper, right? It's like the same thing. You mean the amount of syllables? No, just no, it's, it's like, a compound word oh, of this like is, this is from something in the sky and then like it being like destroyed. And breaking. Like, storm breaker, well, cloud ripper. I, I think you're giving them way too much credit. I think they just went with a like, Weather motif, or it's. I don't know. No, no, I think they're they are they're into breaking sky things. No, they're breaking storms. Well, well, if you said storm ripper and cloud breaker, it would mean the same, it's the same thing. Same thing, and you just. <laughs> I want, can my new nickname but be storm ripper? Storm cloud breaker. I want to be rich storm ripper. No, no, you could be. If you break cloud, that, that would be my luchador <laughs> like. Fucking how about, like wrestling name. How about yeah. rip break cloud storm? <laughs> I think I, That's a strong Dash one. rip rock. I broke cloud. Yeah, if you break cloud or rip storm. If you know, like, <laughs> I just like, rip storm. It's a bad episode of Star Trek where they land on some weird ass planet and this is how they talk. <laughs> but for an IPA, I think I like it. It's bitter. It's I fucking good. hate IPAs. <laughs> is it's it just, too bitter? Yeah, it's like, it's like so what's the IBUs on it? It's like 75. It's a or fuck like you that? an IBU scale because that's what it. What is the IBUs? What's the uh, what's the IBU on that? It is uh, seven eight. So seven, seven eight. eight. So That's it's stronger. Out it's of getting what? up there. Out of what? Is um, the, does the IBU scale have a limit? I uh, no, that you I like an infinite like symbol. <laughs> well, I thought I thought hundred was the limit for a long no, time, I've but I've seen one twenties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's an arbitrary. So, you know, there's like some beer that's like sixty percent. Well, that's true. Yeah, but so that's, that's, that's got a different like, game at that point. Yeah, but so it's got to be like 600% IBU, or, you know, sorry, like whatever. 60% what? Alcohol. But we're not, that's true. You can get beer that's like 60 and 70%. Sure. But I mean, at that point, it's just distilled. It, yeah, it's a spirit. But that has nothing to do with how bitter and nasty it tastes. Correct. Is. Well, I guess it's true. I guess I, yeah, I guess it's true. Please take it back. <laughs> <laughs> that was, you made a terrible mistake. <laughs> there is a door. Cut, sir. <laughs> Um, but this is 6.4%, so that's pretty bitter. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is it, 11 ounces tall? That's, yeah, that's very bitter. <laughs> you can tell by the way that this, it's going to be a bitter one. So the name of the company is actually Stormbreaker, all one word. Not Stormbreaker, Stormbreaker. No, no, Cloudbreaker is one word too, it's a compound word. It is. Yeah. But they capitalized the second word, so it's not fucking compound all word. All of the letters are capitalized. Yeah, they're actually all capitalized. No, 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 no. That's not, that's not capitalized, it's just capital R there. It's Every, bigger. And the same thing, oh, is, is the T capitalized here? Is it storm? Dude, every letter in there is capitalized, man. <laughs> then what is this? Capital. Do you know your- Is it double capital? Do you know bigger do you, capital. Bigger, do you know your sizes? Like, like we're talking like, like large and small. Font sizes here? <laughs> we have like a small cap and a big cap. Um, do you know uh, your sizes? Have you, <laughs> if something was, <laughs> the, you if two things were the same size, would you be able to tell that? <laughs> I think I, would, I think I have that capacity at least. I mean, and if one was smaller, would you be able to, you know? Just so, just, it's just like in, because again, I full disclosure, I obviously don't like IPAs and beer like this. I'll take some more. I'll prove it. I'll earn those two pencils, dude. You can. Anybody else want some hair on your balls? Uh, well, I'm good for a little bit. All right. <laughs> I mean, if you put at least two pretzels in, you have to. Do you want more of the three pretzels? You have to drink more. I mean, just in order to kill it, I'll have a little more. Sure. His balls aren't quite hairy enough. Can, we, can we like uh, hypothesize what their other beers are called, following that same pattern? Okay, so we got Storm Cloud. I feel no, like it's got to be angry. Break I feel like I feel like a like a Nimbus Slasher. Really, I think like 
like yeah. like um, Storm Penetrator, <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Obliterator, uh, but but instead of Storm, Emaciator, yeah, like, like Eviscerator. Am I going to borrow the Sagers? Hail Fighter, Hail Fighter, mm. Swale Sweller. I'm what? sorry, what's, what is a swale? Isn't that like a small storm? Was there like any word, like your brain just came up with that? Maybe, maybe <laughs> I actually that. saw the whole list of these only like five hours ago and I don't remember any And swale, swagger was one of them? Yeah. Are you pissed off about that? that? You just said that. <laughs> it's the old swiggity swaling <laughs> mode. They had one that I was about getting called Swale Swagger. <laughs> it said on there, a thousand IBU. There's like an infinity. <laughs> Mark, this was it's like, yeah, this one's gonna fuck Rich Close up. Close your fucking face right off. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, I, I, I look at this, I'm like, oh, we threw in some Amarillo, some Cascade, some Tenniel, some Citrus, some Galaxy, some Nugget, and some Rinse, some fuck you that's, house. But that's why. That's why. Because it's got everything in it, right? It's it like all blends together kitchen sink, and yeah. you just end up with a bitter beer. Yeah, because that's all it is. The, uh, how about Thunder Crusher? That's Ooh. good. I yeah. like it. Thunder Crusher. Yeah. I can't come up with really like violent sounding weather names. That's all. Tornado Dismember. <laughs> that just rolls off the tongue. That, yeah, that one's <laughs> I mean, think about how much of a like a, an actual many, logo you would need to get all those words on there. Well, think about how many different, the size small though. Right? Think about how many different sizes of letters you need to put on there. I mean, it'd be, they would all have to be small. You'd have to know. You'd have to find someone that could tell the different sizes. No, but that's Her, not me. Hurry. Kirk Rapist. Kirk. <laughs> what? Hurricane. Kirk Rapist. Her. Why couldn't you say Hurricane Raper? Why is it her Kirk Rapist? I don't know. Just Kirk Rapist seems to have that more of that like. But you don't even know what you're saying. T M. <laughs> trademark. Kirk <laughs> Rapist. But hear me out. You don't that. know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, You're just making sounds <laughs> that sound offensive. Oh. So this is beer number nine? Beer number eight. eight. And it is called Headful Dynamite. Dynamite! By Fremont Brewing. Because beer matters. In Seattle. In Seattle. Like it's not our Fremont, it's Seattle's Fremont. Mm -hmm. Does every city have a Fremont? This is a hazy IPA, which are all the rage presently. What is okay, before I drink this in history. Explain what a hazy Ooh, IPA is because good. I know like a chain breaker, which is like a white IPA. I, I don't think it's quite the same. I, I think this is just an unfiltered IPA. Okay. I think that's really all there is to it. So but I could be wrong about that. So they're even lazier with making the beer. Yeah, What's, basically you just you make like, oh you just God. don't give a shit and you make it and uh, Actually, it's better than the last no, one. No, but this is like, like I was saying, um, oh, most of the growler, huh. like the growler, like tap houses that I have been to, have like a third of their taps are hazy IPAs right now. So this is mm. the thing. This is the new hotness. The new hotness. Mm. The new hopness. Okay. Buzzing. I like it. Ding. You like it? It's mm -hmm. kind of, it's kind of chain breaker. Just a little, even more a little. I like it. Chain breaker is just like a. a White IPA. Is, Chainbreaker is a white IPA, so it's like sort of halfway between like a, a witch and an IPA, right? It's way better than the last one. Which yeah, is I like just it like, a lot. Yeah. It's just like hops for the sake of hops. This is actually it's a little, it's a little uh, tart, a little mm -hmm. kind of citrusy. Yeah, yeah. I can actually, it's got personality. Yeah, yeah. you can tell that it's going. Yeah. I bet you anything that if we look on there, there was not 15 different types of hops used. It right? tastes like, like it was cost like that right 439 now. maybe. Four thirty, but not five bucks. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> I'm good. I like the label. I like the label because they took a label from a like a bomber, and they just put it on a can. Like that's a sticker. Yeah, it is. So there's no dis description of what actually. <coughs> um, but they are a family-owned craft brewery founded in 2009 to brew artisan. Artisan. Beer is made with Art the best Art Art Asian? Asian? artisan. It's, it's, it's actually it's actually artisan. It's pronounced bespoke. It's actually silent. Bespoke small batch. It's actually a silent word. Uh, <laughs> to brew <laughs> beers made with the best local beers we can find. Headful of dynamite, also known as Hafod, because they created an acronym. Acronym. Hafod is an ongoing series of hazy IPAs. 
Mm. Each one different from the one before. Typically when things are a different kind. We're just trying shit. No, check I don't, out I don't, no regulations. <laughs> they want you to check out their website to uh, find out the malts and hops used in www.brewdads.com. That would be. Remember to like and subscribe I and need, comment. I need, I need and uh, uh, Bell Squad, please. Friends and happiness. Or excuse me, friends bring happiness. Friends in, and happiness. Mm. Friends bring happiness into your life. Best friends bring beer. This is nice, Rich. I know, I feel very close to you guys right now. Okay. All because they're head full of dynamite. Now is it dynamite or dynamite? It's dino, like the dino label makers, might. I don't know why I went to okay, that. Okay, yeah, that was a very like specific, a very corporate reference. <laughs> but but I mean, because they they type it, they, they type it they type it out D Y N O. Wait, is it bigger font or can you tell? <laughs> Are um, these the, all capitals? No. <laughs> well, I can't tell because it's a script. You know what script means? It means like, I'm just responding to the emotion of. You the mean it's like you can actually read? <laughs> this look the the, the, the logo the head up. full makes it look like it's yelling at me because it's all in caps. Yeah. Okay, so the head full of dolomite. Dolomite. Like the, the Dolomites. Like Dolomite. Vegemite. Vegemite sandwich. Vegemite. Mon. Mon. This is the Permafrost by Burnside, which was the beer that won our inaugural. Well, the brewery. Brew dads. The brewery that won. The brew. That's right. Brewery. The brewery. Uh, Burnside Stiles. Brewing Company. This is the Permafrost Northwest Winter Ale. And it's live beer, so keep it cold. Um, Sorry, did you say it's live beer? Mm -hmm. a, a live beer. Live? Live? <laughs> live? Live? It's a live beer. Yeah. Keep cold. That's beer, what the slogan mean, is. So yeah. It's alive. Wait, so I can actually explain that. So it has living cultures in it. Yes. Yeah. So there's multiple different ways of there's multiple different live. ways of carbonating beer, and one is you just let it ferment in the bottle. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's what I do. Yes. And the other one is you can have a machine Amazing that way. force carbonates it and gets it to exactly the level that you want it. Okay. So this is like not that. This would be it's, the first thing. It's the former. Yeah, it's, it fermented in the bottle. There's live yeasts. 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 We're going to eat the yeasts. Yeast. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. It smells. It smells, it smells roasty. It smells. It smells, it smells like, like, it, like it's like, been sprayed all over a piece of wood. Plywood? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> like, it has like a really good pour, though. <laughs> it's strong. It's a live beer. What Ooh! do you expect it to do? That's the kind of beer that if you wow. drink the whole it fucking thing, amazing. you're not going to wow. be driving home. All, like, full disclosure, I'm a real sucker for winter ales, so. Yeah, fuck, that's strong, though, man. Ooh. Delicious. It is a winter ale, though. It's a winter ale, is what it is. Mm. No tea. No, we got it. Because it's winning. It's winning so far. It's not winning. Yeah, yeah. I like that a lot. I mean, I'm mad. Well, permafrost, as all Burnside beer, is unfiltered. This requires an increased time commitment, but pays dividends in the depth, <laughs> character, and flavor of our offering. Would it be less time to make you don't have to fucking go through a filtration process? I mean, like, you would think that. <sighs> I mean, to me, unfiltered beer is kind of lazy beer, in a way, because you... Apparently not. I, I guess I can brag that I'm making unfiltered cider now. You should be, right? Like, like look, I, you have no idea the amount of work I've I put spent into this. so Isn't, much time not filtering this. Imagine beer. the time that it would take to filter this. Mm. It took way longer to not do that. Is this the highest alcohol content we've had tonight? I'm afraid it's to drink be. this beer. Eight well, it's gotta yeah, be because it's so bitter. Don't, don't, don't feel like you have to drink it. <laughs> I can just, it's got 8.3% IBUs. It's, it's got, yeah, it's eight, yeah, exactly. You know, you know it's like got 54 alcohol. It's in the in the vein of like, I like Optimator, like Spot and Optimator, yeah. because yeah. it's like, it's just punch you in the fucking face, drink one of those things. It's really malty. This has kind of got a nice malt taste to it. It does, it is the maltiest one that we've had, yeah. for sure. Okay, oh. so we got number 10. Number 10. Five Pine Chocolate Porter by Three Creeks Brewing. I know it well. I'm sure you've probably had it before. I think I have, but I, I don't remember. This is a porter of chocolate. 
safe beer. I'm not gonna get like no stuff. This, this isn't gonna be super bitter for well, you. Well, oh, this is 6.2 alcohol by volume. So bring it back down from the. Where's... <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I'm not sure. <clears throat> Go on. You guys know why it's called German chocolate cake? Because the guy who invented it was an American named Sam German. And I'm not even joking. No way. Yeah. No well, part of that is I mean, German. It, yeah. It figures. Like, funny to me. Like, what's the last coconut that you saw in Germany? I mean, this beer is fine. It's not spectacular, but it's a good, safe quality pork. Okay, what do we got going on here? It's not a good sign when it covers the cheese. Number Dark. 11 Dark. is called Taco the Feckin' Morn. Anyone else want to try <laughs> pronouncing that? So this is by um, Feckin'. Top of the feckin' morning. Irish Brewing Company. And I'm gonna do my best, uh, oh, this would be an Irish accent. Top of the feckin' morning, man. <laughs> Nailed it. Imperial Espresso Milk Porta. Oh yeah, I got you, man. I'm hearing you. I'm oh, feeling you. Is that, is that God good? damn, that is good. Ooh. Ooh. Imperial's meant to knock you on your Fucking butt. Mm. What do you think about this ting, man? Mm, we are in the darkest of the dark, man. Do you feel me? I feel you! <laughs> I, 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 man. I, 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 I know what you say, man. I, I, this is good bobsled. <laughs> bobsled. bobsled. Throat, yes. Man. Oh. So, yeah, I think we've, we've touched on all the. <laughs> well, <laughs> Rich, this is right up your alley because it's got 25 IBU. And fucking 9.5 percent alcohol. Thank yeah, you. I mean Imperials are Thank meant you. to just wreck you. Imperial espresso milk porter with notes of Irish whiskey and vanilla beans. Look at the guy. Um, this guy's got only one fucking it's pupil. Can we get like a second? Like, oh, sir. Uh, th even, that's even, there's even no way it's gonna not be blurry. But well, I mean, hopefully on the on the what? <laughs> I mean, look at it. Yeah. Can you just make that face? He's blind. <laughs> maybe, maybe the eyes just like pointed in, like get kicked by a horse or something, and fucked him up. Yeah. Look at him. He didn't have enough money to print like that. They <laughs> ran out of black. black. Yeah. 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 I mean, we had all this black for the Oh shit. How did, how how did we Maybe this? it's maybe it's an afterthought. This is rolling off the line. Like, oh god damn it. <laughs> this has notes of Irish whiskey and vanilla beans. And echo. There's notes of echo in this. I don't know. Beer number 11 will do that to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh. <clears throat> feckin'. Some of the feckin' morning. Well. Well, it's tasty. Again, I mean, man, these geez. guys chose to acronym it as well as to Toffem. I'm it's sorry, a, what? The last, that one other beer had like acronymed, acronymized. What, so the what act the of creating an acronym is called Cloud, what? Cloud Schnauzer? No, 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 that, that was the, the, the can of like circles. The circle it can. Yeah, so so your brain is, just came up with that sentence. I'm asking you, how, what is the verb of acronym? Acronate? When you take a word and create Tweet an acronym. Abbreviate. Oh, yes. Uh, not no, necessarily, because no, no. abbreviate could be Something that's not an acronym. Right. right. But we're, we're talking about the like act of creating an acronym is called what? To acronym. Make an acronym. An acronym. Yeah. God damn it. There should be some like catchy yeah, like acronomize or acronym. Oh, is it hurricane rape? Hurricane. Hurry crate. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. Like so that. so the act of creating an acronym is now called hurry crate. Are we, are we clear? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. I mean, it's, it's not bad, but no, like, it's, it's very coffee flavored. That's like, the beer you drink and the only beer you drink for that night. This is a beer for eight in the morning. Mm. For the top of the second morning? I mean, like, it tastes like coffee. Hair, hair of the dog. All right, well, 
Chris. We have our second place finish, which was the Franz's Connor with 15 total pretzels. This is the Vice beer. Uh, it was a quite popular beer, but it wasn't quite enough to edge out the top beer, which was the Hazy IPA, the head full of dynamite from Fremont Brewing because beer matters. Uh, this was the winner, and so this is the brewery that you'll be seeing in our next Brew Dads. Remember to like and subscribe below.